Well, hello, my friends. This is Gladys from Gladys Garden in Heart of a Gypsy. I hope that all of you are having a great day. Today, I have a, just a small little project that I'd like to share with you, a small tutorial on how to make this little cute little mini hangers, okay? Um, and I'm gonna put that uh, right out there. The idea is not mine. And uh, it became, oh, it was Amador, and I cannot pronounce the, the name on, on his uh, YouTube, but the link will be uh, below, so you can look at him, you know, in there. So he is the original uh, creator of the idea as to how to make them. I did a couple of things a little different, uh, just because I am a wire worker, and a jewelry, jewelry making, uh, you know, uh, person so anyhow so I just added a few touches here and there and I'm going to pass those tips up to you I was talking to some of my friends and my Facebook group heart of a gypsy soul designs and you know a lot of people requested that I do a small tutorial so the first thing we're going to tell I'm going to show you the ones I've already created so this one is made in brass obviously as you can tell this one is done in copper. Pardon my friends, my hands are just uh, full of glue steel. I've been working a lot. Um, this is stainless steel, and this is just steel, steel wire. Steel wire, I can't pronounce it today. And this one in particular, it's made just a tiny bit difference. Can you see the difference on them between this one and that one? just a tiny bit so I think I like this design better other than this one they're both uh, both made with the same amount of wire so now that we're talking about wire let's talk about the do's and the don'ts I mean now that you couldn't what I'm trying to say is I'm going to tell you which ones were harder and which ones were not for projects like this I like to use um, you know a gauge that is 18 and below 16 is my preferable uh, but depending on the wire, you know, on the makeup of the wire, you can get away with a little bit higher uh, gauge. Like this one, for instance, the, the stainless steel, it's 19 gauge, okay? And even though it's a little thinner, but this uh, stainless steel is a lot sturdier and really, it's hard to bend it, trust me on that. So um, you can get away with this one easily. But, let's see, which one other one? This one is 19 also, and it's um, just raw steel. And, you know, you can just sand this down and stuff. I'm not, I really like the, the black look. It kind of gives it that, uh, you know, vintage or worn look. So, I think um, I'm going to tell you that out of all this ones, the copper, stainless steel, uh, brass, and regular steel, um, wire I prefer this one and this two these two are the best ones to work with brass is also a very strong um, wire metal that it's just difficult to to train it this is a 16 so this is the prefer gauge that I would use for all my you know little hangers but if you didn't have anything else you can go to 18 and perhaps even 19 depending on the project that you're using what you're going to use them for and things of that nature but this one was very difficult to it's very hard to turn so if you're a beginning beginner with uh, you know trying to work with wire this is probably not the one I would recommend for you to use but they're awesome look look how beautiful they look in gold you know that brass look so leave this one perhaps when you have more experience with you know bending wire and feel comfortable otherwise you know you're probably gonna get a little bit frustrated and we don't want that all right so I'll put that aside and then this the stainless steel was very just as difficult if not more difficult than the brass for some reason so those two I say leave them for what you feel like you can just you have these puppies down and you know you know how to work them they're kind of hard on your hand too a little bit but they're beautiful you know they're very very resistant too. very nice quality ones but you know if you're just gonna be hanging a little paper here and there I say stick with this too and that's what we're going to choose today so I'm going to do one with uh, copper and the other one with, um, you know, just dark uh, steel wire. All right. <clears throat> so these are the ones. What we need to do is, I'll tell you the, 
the tools you're going to be needing. You're going to be needing a nylon plier to straighten up your wire. You are going to be needing oops, there it is, a round nose plier right here. You are going to be needing a needle nose uh, pliers or flat nose pliers. You can also use those ones. I also like to use this bender ones. This, you know, the 45 degree angle ones, uh, perhaps. So those are the ones. And obviously, we need a wire cutter, you know, or a flush cutter uh, for that. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut out exactly what I need, which is. 20 inches and you're going to cut out a little bit but it seems to me that every time I try to cut it so I don't waste that you know half an inch or an inch of wire somehow it's, that doesn't work for me so I end up cutting 20 and I have my measurement over here and I know you can see it so let me just measure it and I'll be right there with you all right so let's see all right so I have right here 20 inches and this is going to be the same amount for all of them okay now I am going to grab the end of one wire with my I have two nylon pliers but you can use any other pliers to hold the wire here and then I'm just going to give it a little a little bit pull anytime you pull your wire like this you're actually making it stronger okay but I'm just I'm ironing it you can say that would be the word and you can do that afterward too, but I kind of like to start working with it. Um, it starts heating up, you will notice that it starts getting really hot too, but you're actually straightening up the wire. All right, let me just give it this little cleaning up in here. All right. All right. Well, let me move this little extra ones out of here. Okay, so whichever end you like to start, it doesn't really matter. You're going to start with your round nose pliers and you're going to grab just barely the tip okay and then fold it inwards until you start forming a little spiral I don't know if you can see that and I'm gonna turn it around Let me see I'm gonna get up so you can see this a little better hold on a second there so and you want to keep on just just for a little bit you want to do a little bit of a spiral right there so you know it's right there you don't need more than that that's all you need okay so at this point you're going to grab anything that is round that is a shape you know it could be the end of this I'm just grabbing anything that I have in front of me I didn't I didn't grab anything ahead of time but like okay so I have any spool anything would do and I'm going to grab the little curly part, just hold it against whatever object. As long as your object is, you know, no, no longer than one and a half um, inches wide, that'll work. All right, and I'm going to turn it. All right. So as you can tell, there is the top of the hook. Don't worry about the position of this. This is so easy to turn it like this, and it's in there, okay? Now, when we folded it in to kind of close the circle here, right there, you're going to kind of grab it with your pliers or your round nose pliers or your flat ones, whichever one you have, and then just give it a little bit like a 45 degree. You see now it's turning straight down. And then about, I would say about quarter of an inch or maybe like a three, three eighths of an inch down, you you want to bend it again so you see that and that is the neck of your um, of your little hanger okay so you want to make those sharp make sure that you see them let's see there so it kind of looks like that like a two you know like a big two right there all right now here is what follows next you're going to measure from this point right here. Oops, I'm out of, from that corner, you're going to measure three and a quarter. And my measuring, my measuring is over here, so let me get a Sharpie, and then I'll do those measurements, and then I'll show them to you. All right, give me just a little second. Three and a quarter. I think you can see it right there. That's three and a quarter, correct? So right there, you're going to grab 
you're gonna grab and you're gonna put the just the tip of your of your pliers and then fold down so it goes like this it's kind of a sharp turn you don't want it to you know you don't want to have a wide angle here it's going to be just like that now from this corner you're going to measure six inches exactly i'm going to measure that over here and then i'll show it to you as soon as i have that mark done okay so there's six right there there's my mark so from this corner all the way to this little black dot right there is six inches. You're gonna do the same thing you did before. You're gonna put your the tip of your round pliers or your needle nose pliers, whichever you have available. Hold it and do a sharp turn. There you go. So now you can see how nice it's turning. Now from this corner, again, we're going to measure three and a quarter. So let me do that and I will show it to you again. Let's see, three and a quarter. Okay, let me close this because that's all we need. Okay, so I think I marked it on that side. So from this corner, you can see all the way to here, it is three and a quarter. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to keep doing the same that we've been doing at every angle, just a little turn this is, doesn't have to be really sharp okay this this is just for you to know where that this one is going to end up and at this point you can just with your finger fold it all the way to the back so it's like this okay so there is your little hanger right there but not we're not quite done at this point you're going to get your flat nose pliers and I'm going to grab this which is what we wrapped over the neck and then the first piece of wire you're going to hold them both at the same time as best as you can okay right there not grabbing you know the piece of wire that we're going to use to loop it around and at this point I'm going to grab my you know bent nose pliers and go around it the reason why we have to grab those two is because when you start wrapping oops it, it tends to want to pull and it just it starts eating from the it starts eating from the size of it and at this point you can you'll see all these movements don't worry too much about it there's a way to fix this so let's just keep wrapping around and before we go any further let's check because sometimes this one it starts pulling out but it looks like it didn't grab anything which is kind of a miracle usually it'll start when you start pulling or you start you know wrapping it starts pulling this one in at the same time but it was because we were holding it this way that it didn't grab anything so now at this time you can see that this looping part that we've been doing it's not very straight so this is what this the flat nose or or needle nose pliers come in grab them on each side and give them a little push and see how nice they turn out really nice and together so let's do it again here and I want to keep wrapping up and let me see if I can there just gonna grab those two again and give it a couple more and then I'm probably going to cut the extra piece in there because we don't need it. But I like to see, um, I like to see kind of a long neck a little bit, not, not extremely long, like that's good enough. Now I'm going to get my flush cutters and just cut that. All right. Be careful when you cut your little extra you know pieces of wire because they tend to just fly everywhere and they can fly into your eye trust me they have so we want to make sure that make sure that that end that piece it's full of you know a burr because of the way that um, cutter was so we want to make sure it's all nice and smooth again I'm pressing this coil right here so it's nice and even all right so so you say oh but that doesn't look like the ones that we made before well it's not yet because now we need to start doing a little bit of ironing now this right here is too big for the hanger can you tell this 
right here is too big for the hanger can you tell so this is what I've done I'm going to cut about a quarter up from the little curly thing and I am going to keep doing the same thing I did before I'm going to curl it up I think Amador curled it in it doesn't really matter whichever way you want to go now I'm going to use oops this one right here I'm gonna grab it here just so I can keep looping a little bit all right so it's like that and then you just kind of you know you just kind of move it down so it kind of looks and this can be bent a little bit more to the side there there it is okay so the next part that we need to do is iron it so you want to grab your oh I'm sorry I'm out of um, your um, oh what do you call this one's the Teflon pliers and just pull it you know right there give it a go every time and look how nice it just irons it really nice these are worth buying let me tell you they're really nice pliers I keep two because sometimes I have a wire that it is um, you know um, a little bit harder and so I use one plier to hold my item or my piece of wire and with the other one I iron but this one is pretty soft all the copper wires are much softer than any other ones so I recommend that you use that one to begin with and let me clean it up a little bit here and you just find yourself cleaning it up a little bit here and there that's all you're going to do all right and you know each one that you make is going to be just a slightly different I think this one is maybe a little bit more pointier than this one but you just fiddle with it let me zoom out a little bit because I am too in I think oh I can't move my machine is being being funny anyways so that's how you make well that's this is how I made uh, my own little you know hangers right here and you just fiddle with them until they look the part until they look how you want them to look and that's all that's all there is to it and now we're going to make this one okay we're going to do it with steel wire so same thing we're going to get 20 inches and let me see where 20 inches go This is my cutter. I got my tape measure taped to my counter. That's why you can't see. All right. So there it is, my piece of wire. So again, we are going to use my needle nose, I'm sorry, my round nose plier and start curling it up this way until it forms a little bit of a loop in there. So it looks like that okay and just a second here then I'm going to grab whatever object I'm using to make my round mark then from right here from right here where it kind of closes into the neck we're going to start making the neck so we're going to go here so it kind of make a sharp turn and then go down about three quarters of a uh, no three eighths of an inch and then do another sharp so it kind of looks like that again and now we're going to let me show you the difference on this one <clears throat> on this one's instead of measuring three and a quarter to here from here to here I measured three and a half so three and a half here and six here and three and a half and the hanger is a little bit wider and I'm not even sure if I liked it as much I didn't have enough to wrap it around as you know as I usually like so that's what I did so I'm not going to do that because I don't like that shape but I'm just doing an extra one so you guys can have an idea how I'm gonna measure my my point and I'll be right back with you you just can't see it when I'm doing it when I'm doing it here because of my tape measured all right so there is one so this is three and a quarter oops sorry I just went in the wrong way 
there it is now I need to measure six remember that's the measurement for the bottom okay there was six right there let me there is six right there and then we need another three and a quarter and let me see let me see three and a quarter right there okay so this one is going to go here like that okay so at this point I like to just grab this right here and just go one so it kind of loops one and you kind of you're you kind of starting you know to make your little coil in there but what follows next is to put put your um, plier your needle nose plier or your flat nose pliers whichever you have available grab it kind of strong so it doesn't you know comes loose and now you're going to be grabbing this little oh I'm keep going out of I'm so sorry I don't want to redo this tape so all right start looping around as close as you can you know oops sorry see it just kind of wants to turn on you a little bit but just do your best on it there once it started it's okay it's not going to be pulling anymore from the bottom okay now remember what I'm doing I'm holding those coils down pressing them together so they kind of look nice and ironed and I'm gonna keep on holding this right here and let me see if I can grab one this other one see how it wants to slip don't worry about it see and this one it gave me enough to make a very pretty neck nice coil neck and we're going to don't worry if it looks you know lump sided or if it looks like it's not going to look pretty it will you just got to you know work with it okay that's my last little piece right there and I'm just making sure that it's all together okay let me put it again here this one has a much much prettier next so again each one that you make is going to be just slightly little different but not a big not a whole lot different now I'm going to cut uh, where's my cutter about I would say about a quarter on top of the loopy in there cut it out and I'm going I'm going to start coiling in up you can do it down to either way I like that the way it curls up this way and I'm gonna grab that so I'm grabbing it and then I'm turning this like this just so I have that little extra curl and there you have it nice neck and everything so all you have to do from here is you know start ironing to make sure that you have I like this other one better to make sure that the, the wire is nice and straight because you know it's not extremely strong so it tends to warp a little bit here and there and then this one too uh, and if you feel like this one feels like there's too much in here oh, let me give it a let me turn it this way I'm gonna try to there let's try that you can always wire is bendable remember that so what I did in that I feel like you know perhaps the measurements were not right there oh, where's my iron and then this way so there you go this one looks like a little bolt in there so that's not what I was aiming for but anyways that's where um, it's going to end up so anyway so I hope you like this little small tutorial it's nothing big um, thanks Amador for giving us the the inspiration uh, to do this 
and um, I hope that this was helpful in any way. So at least I told you the differences between the wires and how some of them feel and how some not. Uh, so I said number one is copper because it's very moldable, very easy to, uh, you know, to move around and it's very forgiving. So all the other ones, including this one, you can still tinkle, I can still tinkle with this one and I will until it's completely straight. But um, copper, I say make several in copper and play with them until you feel very comfortable. And then you can move on to the next ones, to the ones that uh, are a little higher wire or higher, um, whether they're actually very hard to work with. You know, they're harder to bend and everything, although the material is beautiful and the hangers look amazing. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Again, stop by to see us. I'll keep bringing some more tutorials and you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.